We've got to see Fury oh, and Usyk in 2023. You will see them a Gypsy King hear this. It'll be the last time Usyk will box. Because Tyson will put him that bad of a way, his career will be over. You watch. On the other boys, they can only look, you know, because they know they blew it. Because Those are the words of John Fury as he declares if Usyk fights his son, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, that will be Usyk's last fight, let me counterpunch. Listen, you have to respect the confidence, the tenacity, the passion, the anger, <laughs> the wrath of John Fury. And you know, John actually has been on point, you know, through his predictions. You know, I remember when the second, coming up on the second fight with Wilder versus Fury, he predicted that Tyson Fury would stop Wilder. And you know what? It happened. <laughs> you know, um, third fight the same. Um, and that was when David Hay was picking it. And we know David Hay has a terrible track record when it comes to selecting winners. But John Fury's been pretty much on point. But this time, though, uh, I think this may be a little different simply because it is a different fighter. He has a different style. He's a southpaw. He's tricky. He's fast. He's small. And I think, you know, as far as Tyson Fury goes, fighting someone that's small and elusive may be a problem for him. But the question is, you know, based on what John Fury said, can, can, uh, Tyson Fury retire Usyk. You know, we've seen Usyk hurt against Joshua. And I got a uh, uh, video coming between Joshua and Fury pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. But, you know, can Tyson hurt Usyk? And the answer is yes. And I think that's how Tyson gets Usyk. He has to hurt him. And how do you, how do you hurt him? You got to fight him. You can't. Because one, one thing, well, this is what happens. People find out or they try to see where Usyk's boxing IQ is and find out it's far beyond they, far beyond what they imagined. And by the time they realize that, they have a swollen eye, they're down on points, and Usyk's picking up speed. But the problem with Usyk is he doesn't get to the point where he starts slacking off of defense. That's why it makes it so difficult because he's able to hit you and you're not hitting him as much. Now, you're able to hit him with certain shots, but your power shots you're missing because he, he intends on you missing your power shots and he, to counter with his shots. So if, imagine every time you throw a jab and a right hand and you miss, you might catch him with that jab. Then you follow the right hand. He's already gone. And then he's set to hit you with a right hook. Follow with a left to the body and a right hook upstairs. That's what you're dealing with. And he may shoot a left right back down to your body. And it has you more on a defense than an offense. You know, until you just learn like, hey, I have to fight this guy. But you have to be car careful fighting someone like Alexander Usyk. Because he's going to always give you problems with that constant movement. But see, understand the constant movement is just not a decoy. You know, you see a lot of people move their head. Then you punch them their head's still there, okay? You, I know is anything that moves is a harder tar target besides standing still. I get it. But sometimes, some fighters, they just do a rhythm and as soon as they stop, they get punched because they're not basically uh, obeying the rules of de defense. They're not. They're just giving you a farce. They're giving you, um, they're making you think, hey, I'm using head movement, so I'll be ready to dodge your point, punches and your attacks. Listen, Usyk's actually doing that for a reason. That's what makes him dangerous. You know, he's moving that head, so when it's time to move, he can move. You know, so it, it, he's, he's difficult to deal with. But then again, you have to respect Big John Fury's confidence that Tyson Fury can retire him. And let me leave you guys with this. <clears throat> Anybody, if Tyson Fury fights Alexander Usyk, that will be the most interesting fight of all. Why? Because whoever loses 
We have to see if they're durable or resilient enough to come back into this sport because a lot of people don't do it. A lot of people get beat and then they're no good after that. They're no longer that invincible, uh, confident, uh, successful fighter. They're just, they've lost something. Meaning that loss took a lot out of them and it shows you where their heart is. So if Tyson gets beat or hurt or stopped or defeated, and then he comes back, we'll see, okay, he has a heart of a true fighting man. Same thing for Alexander Usyk if he gets beaten by Tyson Fury. You know, what will he do after that? That's why I would rather him fight Tyson Fury now to see what he can do when he does come back, if he is defeated by Tyson Fury, so we'll know what type of heart he has. See, it's a heart thing, you know. Your heart is that that drive, that drivenness. You know, that desire to want to keep doing it because you have the true spirit of competition that's flowing through your veins. That's what I want to see. We've seen that with Wilder. Well, we'll see that with Wilder with a different fighter this coming weekend. We've seen it with Joshua. But then, you know, how good were they, honestly, when they came back? You know, we just know they came back to the squared circle. But how good are they after the loss? That's what we're going to learn about Alexander Usyk or Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of John Fury stating that Tyson Fury will retire Alexander Usyk if they fought when they fight. Of course, please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch. Peace!